Greetings, Rumblers. Blue Max here, and I have Mini Manlow, aka the Arclight Battery, and we are here for part two of this episode of Arclight Rumbling. So, thank you so much for joining. And the topics we're going to discuss here, the topics we're going to discuss are the hint we got in the season four review about PVE events, and we're going to talk. We're going to talk about catch-up mechanics um, in terms of the uh, changes to daily rewards as well as to daily offers, and also a little bit about the packs that have been uh, offered in the shop. So, Mini, you watch the video. What do you think about the events that are coming and what little we know? Mm. Well, how much detail are you looking for from me? Um, do you want me to speculate about everything that I think they could be? Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay, so for anyone that doesn't know the World of Warcraft universe, when they talked about the repeatable PvE content that is coming, um, mm -hmm. they showcase this yellow eye in the middle of a board, basically. Um, okay. And that is the Dark Moon Fair. For those of you who don't know what that is in World of Warcraft, there was every every single month for one week the Dark Moon Fair opens, and you can go, you can play games. Um, they're like carnival games, like toss the ring on the back of the turtles and smashing knolls and uh, trogs and things like that, kind of like whack a mole. But basically, you play these games and you get Dark Moon tickets, and then you can okay. exchange the Dark Moon tickets in for cosmetics, um, mounts. Con, like transmog, Ooh. mini pets, different things like that. Okay. And so, what I want it to be is, and people might get mad at me because everyone hates extra currencies in video games, uh, especially mobile games, but I want it to be kind of like that. Um, I want you to play mini games. I think they should be fun. I think they should be repeatable. Mm -hmm. um, and they should reward you with Dark Moon tickets. And Dark Moon tickets are something that you can save between events. Like, if the Dark Moon Fair is open, uh, you play all the events, you get the tickets, but you don't want to spend them, that's okay, because you'll have them for the next time it's around. I think that would be really cool. And hopefully, you can exchange those tickets mm -hmm. for things like XP tomes, or gold, or mini stars, or cores, or things like that. Maybe even cosmetics. Maybe they'll finally add some cosmetics you can actually Please. purchase for the game. Um, but I, I need it, and I think they need it, to be something that allows players to try and catch up and make meaningful and like progression to their account. Because currently, the PvE campaign has a lot, a lot, a lot of different walls built into it. But uh -huh. normally, the only way to surpass them is to swipe your credit card, buy something out of the shop. Um, they need a way for players to be able to overcome those walls without feeling like they need to do that. Because currently, our fight surges are not providing that. Also, the Dark Moon Fair, not the beginning of its life cycle, but later in the course of World of Warcraft, uh -huh. was home to a... Well, actually, it was a spoof of one of your favorite movies, or a reference, rather. It was a raid boss that was just a tiny, fluffy bunny rabbit. Mm. Um, but yeah. it was definitely a Monty Python reference. Um, and it had a chance to drop a mini pet. Um, but it was it was a raid. You needed a lot of people to kill it. Uh -huh. um, and so I, I don't think they're going to do this, but I think they're really missing out if they don't do it. They should have something for your guild to do that's kind of like that, that's a rabbit or like whatever that raid boss is, an encounter where you get points or rewards based on how much damage you deal to it as a guild. I think that would be mm. really fun. And I really feel like if they don't put something like that into the events, mm -hmm. they're really missing out. Now, I like in a World of Warcraft that it pops up once a month for a week, but currently I don't think that once a month for the Dark Moon Fair is good enough. Mm -hmm. I think it should probably be open more than once a month. Now, if they had other forms of repeatable PvE content in the game, like raids or something else, where they could rotate, like, 
this week is the Dark Moon Fair. Next week, the raids are open. The week after that, we have something else going on. Okay. Then I think it's fine. But if it's the only thing that's coming, it definitely needs to be more than once a month, in my opinion. Wow. That was very, very eye opening. <clears throat> very much so. So, interestingly, well, I can't speak. Interestingly, you've, of course, heard you know me jensik and others always talking about our beloved dark fire heroes the mobile game we played before this well mm -hmm. now i know where they got the idea of their weekend events because they were very similar to this fair you're talking about very similar where you had all sorts of repeatable pve content and it was generally every other weekend and you collected i think they actually were tickets and you use them to unlock cosmetics, unlock, um, in their case, chests or you know tomes to level up units. You could get cards for specific units that you wanted to level up. And the new mini that was released each month was actually unlocked through the event, as opposed to like it is right now in Rumble, where it's through a very boring uh, guild, you know, guild progression, guild chest by doing surges, which are the most boring content in the game, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, a lot of a lot of similarities there. Um, if what you just described turns out to be the case, that could be, for me at least, a lot of fun. That sounds great. Yeah, I hope so. Um... And maybe they did get their influence or inspiration from the Dark and Fair and WoW. Uh -huh. But part of this game that has irked me ever since the beginning is that it feels like the team that made this game never actually did any research by playing other mobile games. Because in my experience playing mm -hmm. mobile games, almost every single one I've played has had weekend events or like weekly events or just something that happens every so often that provides you with an alternate form of resource. There yeah. is an, or rather currency, there is an event shop that opens up that sells things that help progress your account or cosmetics or copies of um, a character or whatever it may be in their game. Uh -huh. um, and then when that event rotates out, the shop closes. Um, when it comes back around, you can use the currency you gain that time for the next one if you want to. Um, okay. And then a couple weeks or a week from then, another event happens, and it's kind of the same thing. And it just doesn't feel like the devs who made this game really understood that the players need things like that to be excited for and to help progress their accounts because right now there's nothing like it and our yeah. fight surges are are not something that's close to it not Dude. not by a long shot not not by a long shot at all um yeah no that's that's fair i also attribute it to i don't mean to be super cynical but a, i attribute it to a release date that was based upon timing it to BlizzCon as opposed to actually releasing the game when it was ready. So yeah, but but yeah, that's that's definitely something we're needing. And you know, I I listened to the discussion about different modifiers, and I've talked about this before on my channel. I mean, the events we had in Darkfire Heroes, uh, one of them was like waves, where you had your team and they just faced off endless hordes of enemies. And every one of these weekend events had different modifiers. Well, maybe families from this faction had additional levels, or you weren't allowed to use this particular class of hero or this particular faction of hero. And so they did all sorts of things that forced you to go... Well, 99 times out of 10, I'm always going to use Quillbore in this situation, but in this event, you're not allowed to use Unbounds, or you're not allowed to use Unbound Tanks, or the Beast Faction, whatever it is. And so you're forced to go, so what other unit 
is going to fill that void. And it allowed you, rather it forced you to play minis that you would not normally play. And yeah. that often differentiated between the top players and everybody else. Or, yeah. or it was my guild has all sorts of theory crafters that are coming up with ideas all day long, feeding them into Discord, feeding them into the guild chat, and everyone's trying it, and they're raising their score. Because it was also, it wasn't just about getting the cosmetics and the tickets to, you know, buy progression. It was also about the guild competition. You know, my guild, we went up against Diablo, every weekend and more often than not we lost but we were always pushing till the last you know till the last and we're really lacking that in this game there's no sense of guild solidarity outside of we share information and we pvp against each other and we chat right yeah yeah absolutely like the the guild interface currently is like there's there's nothing there. Yeah. I mean, we 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 don't type in it. We spam emotes at each other for fun, but like all oh, everything right. happens yeah. in Discord now. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's a lost opportunity. And again, I just want to chalk it off to the game was released prematurely, and that if we can hold on, these things will get added in time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Got my fingers crossed for some mm -hmm. good updates going forward. Yeah. Hey, ultimately, I was super excited to get that little teaser. Um, the and and I and I should and I should disclose I did watch the old Guardian's video and his thoughts on the, on the event. So, you know, he brought up that there was talk about okay, they're coming sooner than you expect. And I'm with Old Guardian. Sooner than I expect, hopefully means during this season. Not next season. Not the season after that. This season. Being here since beta, I can tell you that sooner than we expect means that they'll be here sometime this year. <laughs> I, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> oh. Oh. I've, I, I was in the community Discord from about early August, so I wasn't as early as you, but I've been there long enough that I grew very cynical, very cynical waiting for this game. Yeah. Yeah. And it wasn't even, oh man, that was a totally different rabbit hole, and I don't want to go down it too, too deep. Um, yeah. But it wasn't even like waiting for the game. It was waiting for things that they said they were working on and going to have implemented soon, and then just like them not even implementing it like I, it was like one of the first things they posted about how their beta process was going to go through all these changes of like this will be added in the next patch and then after that the next beta they will give you this and then this and then yeah. this and i we didn't see the back half of what they had talked about um yeah that there was a lot that they just did not implement that they said they were going to which is just like I mean, it's fine. They do what they want. It's their game. Yeah. Whatever. But yeah, it's just, yeah. just, it just leaves me to like hope for the best and expect nothing. And you know what? That's good life advice. So, Mini Manlo is now our life coach. <laughs> yeah. Hope for the best, expect nothing. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Oh, All right. Well, Hey, I think we've covered this topic pretty thoroughly and probably went a little longer than we should have. So let's touch uh, let's touch on the catch-up mechanics that we got in Season 4, specifically the update to daily offers as well as the um, daily reward track. What are your thoughts? Ooh, I'm really excited about it. Um, the daily reward tracks change was a much-needed change. Um, I, hmm, a little confused as to why they did it. I was not expecting it. Like I said, expect nothing and be very hopeful. Um, mm -hmm. So it turned out well. A lot of players haven't seen the new rewards yet. 
Right. Um, I guess that the reward track is on a cycle. And so, like, if you start a cycle, you have to end that track before yes. seeing new tracks. Um, so I finally got my first um, new thing today, which was a Mega XP Tome, which was really cool to have on the daily reward track. It yes. actually feels like you can play the game without having to spend money now if you really want yeah. to. Like, getting getting a Mega Tome is huge and i mean it's huge for me because my account level is so high but it's huge for players trying to progress through the game as well absolutely um, and then big boosts of gold as well i think you can get up to a thousand with the arch uh with the arc light booster it's 1500 which is just like that's huge that, that is amazing it's so good um it's like yeah. just giving people ten dollars of gold um three I, megatomes or 11 stars yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's fantastic. It's a great change. I more than that. Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. That's all I can say about it. Very happy about it. No, to totally, totally agree. I got seven hundred and fifty gold yesterday. That's the first one I've gotten, and I'm I'm happy with that. And not only that, but those leader and mini offers finally make sense. It used to be. The XP you got with them was 80% of a single pool for 200 gold. So it means twice as expensive and a fraction of the value. And now they've actually made it correspond to the amount of gold you're spending. So it makes a lot of sense. Makes yes, a lot of sense that, to buy them. It, so the first day that the new shop um offerings rolled over uh -huh. i had a copy of execute in my shop with twenty five thousand experience on it and yeah. that is the first time i have ever bought xp out of that section of the shop uh towards like a single mini i've never yeah. bought any of the leader xp boosts there before but it just it just felt worth it to me 25x or 25k xp for a mini that i wanted to use was just i mean perfect it's, it's exactly huge. What I needed it to be. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I'm I'm super thrilled. So <clears throat> let's uh let's briefly talk about there's there's like three bundles that are cycling through the shop, and I want to skip the PvP rations just because I don't want this video to go super long, um, and I do plan to cover it in more detail later. But you've got you've got one called Steel Grill Supri Supplies. That gives you two mythic tones, three leader megatomes, and 3,500 gold. So if you're like Mini and I, and your collection level is maxed, this is massive amounts of XP. Massive it, amounts. It is. And can I, can I share a secret with you? Yes. This is the first week I'm not buying that bundle. Oh, heresy. <laughs> heresy. Yeah, I know, I know. It's hard, hard to say that. But no, it's fine. It. <laughs> That's fine, um, dude. I'm to the point of half of my units are level level twenty eight. So, if it yeah. weren't for this gear that I have, you know, a, a level eleven arms race, it would be easier for me to say, "Yeah, I'm done. Mm -hmm. I'm done spending." you know, at that level. But there you have it. Yeah. Um, but the other one, uh, how do you pronounce that? Gadgetan? Um, Gadgetan. Yeah. So 5,000 gold, an epic core, and 8,000 arc light energy. So I've been thinking about this. If your collection level is not at max, then if you only buy one of those two offers, that's the one to get because it gives you lots of gold to buy stars to get more minis ready to level, and it gives you the core and energy to upgrade a unit to epic. That's huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's huge. I if you're so in too. the I'm sorry, I talked over you. Oh, I was just saying I think so too. I think it's I think it's really big. It is. Yeah, it's a great catch-up mechanic. Um, it's it's going to help players um, not spend a huge amount of money, but catch up with us crazies who have been in the game since soft launch and global launch 
I mean, we were just having to buy the 12,000 gold directly in the shop. And the value you get out of these, sh these um, shop offers is significantly higher. Almost double. Almost double. So I'm happy. I'm happy for people. Yeah. I am... I am kind of in the same boat. I've got one foot in that boat and one foot in another boat, and it's making okay. it hard to balance, to be honest. So I'm all for offering people cool bundles um, to catch up. Um, yes. What I don't like is feeling like I need to buy them, and I guess I don't need to buy them. I've never needed to buy them. Uh -huh. But in order to stay with the, like, front of the pack with people trying to pvp at the highest level right needing those level 10 units and eventually when raids come out needing those level 11 units yep um it just feels like i need to buy them like i said i'm not buying it this week um mm -hmm. i i think i'm just done spending yeah. for a little bit on the game um, i've gotten the level 10 units i want and maybe we'll see how far along my units get with the new increased um daily rewards um Hopefully, I'll be able to maintain uh, a decent spot in PvP, but mm -hmm. um, I just, it feels like if you want to spend the gold in the shop, there's a lot more gold that you need, and it feels yes. like they're kind of making it every eight days you need to spend $60 on this game so that you have the gold to buy the things that you mm -hmm. you need before they rotate out, and that yeah. that kind of feels rough, but... That's, I guess that's my soapbox. Oh, I'm, really, then, it sounds like you and I are on a very similar page of this. Because I like it, but it also feels like an arms race. And it feels like I have to. And if I mm -hmm. don't, then I'm falling behind. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Uh, mixed bag. But for people who started the game after we did and who are trying to catch up uh, with, with us soft launch and early global launch players, I am happy for them because it is going to help them to catch up at a faster rate than they would otherwise. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Uh, it, we're, we're never at odds with each other, but we often do have diverging opinions on things, so... I think we're a little closer on this one. Yeah, I think so too. Cool. I'll take it. <laughs> uh, okay. Anything else you want to cover before we call it a night? This is wrapping back to the uh, first topic, but I don't think we heard your opinions and what you want from the PvE repeatable content. Um, so I, I guess what are... What are you looking for? I gave my discussion or, I guess, thoughts on the Darkman mm -hmm. Fair and, like, the ticket system and what you should be able to buy with it, but do you have anything specific you're looking for out of repeatable PvE content? Um, actually, I kind of feel like I did give my opinion by basically gushing and saying, you just described Darkfire Heroes, and that was the greatest game uh -huh. I ever played. <laughs> so, please, let's do that. Yeah. So Okay. Absolutely, then. Yeah. Um, do I expect to get everything you just described? I'll be shocked. I'll be pleasantly shocked, but very shocked if that's the case. But mm -hmm. that's definitely, I think that's definitely the route they should go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I really want to emphasize guilds and that guilds need to play a bigger factor into the game. Um, in Darkfire Heroes, uh, our, our guilds became our families. It was so important for us to push, you know, be be the top, be the best. And so I think Warcraft Rumble has an incredible amount of potential. I'm excited that events have been announced. I love how they were teased, and I eagerly look forward to more information. Yes, agreed. I think that's everything for me. I think uh, I'm looking forward to PvE content, repeatable PvE content. That's rewarding, of course. Mm -hmm. um, 
and looking forward to just I guess the future of the game should be a good absolutely time. sounds good all right so everyone thank you so much for watching if you didn't catch part one hop over to mini site and do watch it and of course um, if you are watching and you have yet to subscribe to either one of our channels please consider doing so. It, it greatly supports our channels and helps us to provide more and better content. Thank you so much. Bye, Bye. guys.